old now and they'll be telling us how exactly they got into that and how they've grown their business over the past months. Um, on my right, I have Mary... No, I have Marianne Wanjiro, they're both Marianne. <laughs> and then on my father's uh, right, we have Marianne Kenyanjui. So they'll give us um, their titles. Let me start with you. So, good morning. I am Marianne Wanjiro. Mm -hmm. Njeri, uh, I am the <laughs> I am the managing director at Twinkle Time Cleaners mm -hmm. and also an, an undergraduate at Strathmore University. All right, welcome. Thank you. And then the next one, Marianne. I'm Marianne Wanjiro Kinyanjui. I'm a student from Mount Kenya University, taking the course in Mount Kenya. I'm a finance director at Twinkle Time. I'm also an aspiring leader at Mount Kenya University, the next president, first female president at Mount Kenya University. Wow, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All the best in it. <laughs> yeah, I hope we will come to interview you now next you as a should. student leader. Mm -hmm. Okay. How are you both called Marianne Wanjero? And interestingly, let me share this fact. They run this is a family business, the Twinkle Time Cleaning Company run by cousins, yes? Yes. Wow, tell us about that. That's quite interesting. And you're all young undergrads, you know, running a business and uh, you had also mentioned that you're working. So tell us how did you guys come about this and why family? Why, uh, why family? Mm -hmm. Well, let me first start with the first question that okay. you asked. Mm -hmm. How come we have the same name? Yeah. So <laughs> we are both named after our auntie who passed away in 1989. And uh -huh. so when we were born, personally, when I was born, it was around 10 years later. Mm -hmm. And then so I'm like the first one and then she's the second one. Okay. And then there's another Marianne Wanjiro after us. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so that's how the name came Okay, she must have been a good person for all of you to be named after her. She was. All right. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, so how the business, I think she can answer. Yeah, how go the ahead. Came to be. Hi, I'm Mirian, once again, Kenyan Jui, student, Mount Kenya University, taking BCom, mm -hmm. finance major, and that's why I'm the finance manager of Twinkle Time. Aha. Uh -huh. So the idea came about last year, around mm. September, when uh, it was ending. We had so many ideas, like almost 10 ideas, but we came into a conclusion to start a cleaning business. It was, it was now the idea came in, but mm -hmm. it was months of debating, of researching, okay. of contributing money, and the worst headache was where to get the finance. Okay. And we started saving as low as 500 shillings. 500, we saved up until December, where we, we started by designing our uniforms and buying our uniforms then an investor came in luckily we have a very supportive family very supportive everyone is willing to help wow. so our auntie came in as an investor she invested in our company and we were able now to go for training last year february we went for our training then on march we bought our first machine our shoshu also supported us a lot and we were okay. able to buy our first machine then we started now working so there. the machine you bought last year or this year? This year on March. This year? Yes. On March. Wow. So this thing started as an idea. You guys, you, you knew that you wanted to, to have a business, to run a business together. Mm -hmm. So first, uh, let me get to you, Marianne. The first Marianne. No, you, both of you are Marianne. <laughs> Why are you trying to? Uh, the first Marianne. When, when you guys start, you know, how, why did you guys decide to start as a family, do a family business? Well, so many, <laughs> so many people say that starting as a family is a lot. It's hard. <laughs> and it <laughs> is. I'm not going to lie. It is. Uh -huh. But especially since we're of the same age, so everyone I call Nitasema. So it's a whole thing. But also, at the end of the day, you remember that you're family. And that's the good thing about it. In as much as at times it can be challenging, at the end of the day, you're like, you know you're my cousin, yeah. yeah. So, so it's it's also very interesting and very challenging at the same time. Okay. Yes. So the reason as to why we started as a family, I think, as she said, we are close. So at Kwenda Inje, we to look at Let's just do this. Let's together, just do guys. this. Let's yeah. just do something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the chal okay, the challenge now working with families because now you're the same age and everyone mm. can wants to have their say. Mm. So how do you work around that? 
that's where now the roles came in. Uh -huh. And also the mentorship from, uh, from the relatives, like the bigger people in the family. Mm -hmm. When you're in Akuja, you Miriani eh, now like me, <laughs> Miriani, <laughs> Mimi, the managing director, and then her, she's a finances Finance. guy, lady, mm -hmm. and then there's someone else who is in another position. So when I speak, they listen. When she speaks, we listen to her. Uh -huh. But at the same time, just in case there's anything going on where there's no agreement between the rest of us, then mm -hmm. I come in and have the final say in most cases. Okay. Plus also there's a whole thing about trust and understanding that we are all there for each other mm -hmm. and to make the business grow as well as the family to stay together as one. Okay, so that's, yeah. that's pretty interesting. Um, Marianne Kinyanjuri, you mentioned that getting the funding was the main problem initially before you got an investor in. How did you get an investor in in the first place for someone who's thinking about starting a business but now, you know, the funding is the problem. How, do you, how did you get to get an investor come on board? So at first, I think you have to to start somewhere. So when we went to look for our investor, we had something on our hand. We did not go empty handed. What did you have? We had around nine thousand. We had saved up t up to around nine thousand. Uh -huh. It was it was a lot, but it was little at the same time comparing that we had uh, we had done our research and we had seen we needed around two hundred thousand as starting wow. capital. Yeah. So you had nine thousand, you 9, know, compared to two hundred thousand yeah. that was needed. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we went to our, our auntie. She she has around the same business, not oh, okay. here but outside the country. So when you, we brought the idea to her, she understood, and she knew it had a potential to grow. So even when you're starting a business, you need to go to someone who sees the potential. There's someone out there you're going to tell, mm -hmm. I'm starting a cleaning business. They're like, Yanini, unalipo miatano. If I invest in you, will I get back my money? <laughs> yeah. so you need to go to someone who really understands the line of the business. They are sure they, they are going to have returns at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So we went to her, explained she was so happy and she was ready to help. And she was like, I'm not going to give you this money. I'm going to be an investor. Yeah. So wow. that you know, if anything, you have to work hard. Mm -hmm. You need to bring back my money. Yeah. You need to bring <laughs> back my money. So that keeps us motivated. Yeah. Even sometimes we are one month with... Like when we were starting, one month we don't have a job, but you're like, we need to do this. To call a person, we need to work. We need to work. You know? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Quite interesting. Uh, you got someone who had faith in your business, in your idea, and that's how you started. Yes. All right. Now, uh, before starting, had you tried out different businesses when you were doing your research? Did you have this set in mind that this is what we want to do because now you had someone in the family doing it? Or did you have other options but they weren't, they weren't really, you know, uh, adding up or this was the better option? Let me ask Marianne, the MD. So she, actually Marianne is the one who was like, ah, it was a cleaning. And... <laughs> you know, when you're being told cleaning, cleaning, mm -hmm. like you want us to clean, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> but then again, you're being, when you look at the profit that comes through cleaning, especially when you do it professionally, because we do it professionally. Mm -hmm. As she mentioned earlier on, we have undergone training. Mm -hmm. So there is a training that we did back in Feb with another cleaning company. So we went and looked for someone who's already in there, not our auntie, okay. but someone who's in the market in Kenya, in Nairobi, mm -hmm. who's already doing it. We invested money. Again, remember, to got 9,000. They had to go to the And so we invested there and- um, All of you were trained. Yeah, yeah. Right. So you show up, mm -hmm. you show up, you go, you, you. <laughs> so she, she tells you, she invites you to actual clients places and you go you clean you see actually whether you whether it's something that you'll actually do because oh. for us when we were starting even up to this point we still do go and do the cleaning ourselves uh -huh. yes we do hire some people but we are the main yeah. cleaners for <laughs> now oh. until now we get we scale up to a point where now we can fully mm -hmm. employ other people permanently Okay, and that's the thing with startup. We, it's your baby until now. You're ready yeah. to to let yeah, someone because. come in, yeah, but yeah. until then, you're still the one leading. How has it been like? But before you even answer that, I I don't think we've mentioned to our viewer what exactly you do with the uh, twinkle cleaning. Uh, what exactly? What kind of cleaning do you do? You do? Let me ask Marianne Kenjuri. It's it's professional cleaning. So we do right now. We are doing 
coaches, we clean couches, car seats. We literally clean it with the soap mm -hmm. and we vacuum it. And by the end of the day, it's dry. We also clean mattresses. If uh, you've never had your mattress cleaned, we, we do <laughs> I that. I don't think people <laughs> clean their mattresses. It's, they it's need very this. rare. Uh -huh. So we do that. Uh, we clean your house if you want a deep cleaning. Mm -hmm. We clean every corner of your house, everything in your house. We do post-construction. If you have mm -hmm. a construction ongoing and you mm -hmm. need people to clean after that, there are, there are many, that there is a lot of dirt after post-construction. So we do that. We, we remove all residues from post-construction. If it's paint, everything, we work on that. We also do, what else do we do? Deep cleaning. Yeah. All right. Yes, yes. That's pretty much it. Wow, amazing. Very interesting. And now, how do you... Okay, let me go back to the question that I had asked. Uh, how have you been able to do the business over the, f the month? What kind... Have you seen growth or are you still... You know, are you still growing it? How, how hard has it been? It's been hard, but God has been good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's so, my question. So... Uh, the question, sorry, repeat the question again. Uh, you know, over the few months, what yeah. have you, s how has the business been like? Is it, have you seen it um, go on an upward trajectory or is it on a roll? Is it still a roller coaster for you guys? It's upward for now. Because mm -hmm. in the beginning, as I believe every other business, there were months to go to Nangaliana too, we're like, eh! <laughs> even the window to even two. <laughs> and then yeah. there, are, there are other months, especially right now, where it's picking. It is, mm -hmm. especially since we have invested in social media and also uh, influencers, yeah. which has helped us to get the word there and get people to know us and also call us in and get clients. Okay. So, yeah, that's quite interesting. Speak of social media. Now, getting the influencer. Um, come in and uh, promote the business. Is it not expensive now for a s startup company like yours? Is it mm -hmm. not expensive to, to use an influencer? I understand with social media, you can pay them to, you know, the ads and everything. But now also bringing an influencer, how, how has it affected your business? Positively. Uh -huh. For the okay. major part, positively. And of course, there are times where you invest in something, but hyena, hyena returns at all. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, getting the word, they are just the, oh, kuna cleaning company wana ito twinkle time. Nani li wananga kwa ile social media page ya nani? It helps a lot. Because at times, we mm -hmm. receive calls or even DMs on Instagram from people, and then wana um we got, or rather, tulionu meosha, Patricia Kehora example, mm -hmm. it is okay. How much does it cost? Um, so yeah, is it expensive? It depends on your journey, Biashara. So it also <laughs> depends on how you talk to each other, yeah. what's the, the yeah. transaction yes. that's there, mm -hmm. um, and how good you are with your tongue. <laughs> 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 at yeah. the end of the day, you look at what what will be coming in after yeah. the advertisement. Will it be more? than mm -hmm. the expenses or will it be less? Mm -hmm. So you l have to look at every angle. Okay. Yes. So now, is everyone in the, in, you know, the six of you, are you the only one who has done finance? Or has other people also, have other people also done it? Do you come in with the finance mind, the business mind, or is everyone just business oriented, regardless of the cost that they're doing? I feel like everyone is business oriented everyone has ideas at times I have an idea but someone has a better idea mm -hmm. so everyone is I think right now everyone has is business minded but we have every person on board we have Miriam who is do, who has done international, done international relations, relations. Yeah. she uh -huh. brings her ideas from her side I'm um, doing finance another one is doing journalism another oh. one is doing law another yeah. one is doing uh, tourism so we have a lot we bring in different minds together so it's very interesting okay. this one tells us if we do this she's a low, she's doing low yeah if we do this <laughs> we'll be it has suit. some legal repercussions <laughs> yeah, to yes, it yes. <laughs> okay that's interesting very nice yes. different minds coming together yes. as one uh, what are the some of the other challenges that you faced uh, one month ago, we started our business in October. Tuna Semanga Tulianza on October. So we were mm -hmm. like, uh, we were celebrating and we, and, uh, we posted. I, for example, said, uh, 
We've been in this business for one year, and there is a lot of character development. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Tell us this, about especially it. Especially when you're young, people yeah. will tend to take advantage of you because mm. you don't know. But we say you learn every day when you Wakikupea character development, you learn. You become better. That's what's called development. Exactly. Unaanguka, I'm like, if you make losses today, you wake up tomorrow and go. Regardless, you don't know if you're going to make losses or a profit, but you keep going. You keep going. Right. Our challenge has been flow of customers for the first few months, but at least now we are getting more and more flow of customers. Mm -hmm. It's a challenge to many starting businesses, yeah. but we are getting a hang of it. Okay. We are trying. Yes. That's nice. And then now when you get um, <laughs> clients, then they become referrals to others. Oh yeah. Yes. Actually, something that's mm -hmm. even way better than social media is referrals. Referrals. Because once you get someone, mm -hmm. like a client, and you do proper work, they will definitely... Um, refer you to someone else. And that person will refer you to someone else yeah. whom they trust. So come on, uh, Twinkle Time, they did this perfect job. Then, of course, b since that client trusts their friend, they are going to call you. Yeah. Call you. So, okay. yeah, referrals are way, like, yeah, the top ahead. notch. Uh, that's the, like, number one, better yeah. than advertising. Yeah, so uh, and how are you guys managing? All of you being in school, um, Marianne, you mentioned that you're working mm -hmm. also. How are you juggling all that? Uh, I mostly do the administration part, mm -hmm. so, but we also uh, juggle everything. So when this one is free, then she'll be the one who will go to the ground and do the actual cleaning. Uh -huh. So how do I do it? Um, anytime I get some free time, I check my Instagram, check whether there's someone who has DM'd us, and just reply. If there's a meeting, especially we normally do our meet, have our meetings at 9 p.m. when okay. everyone, I'm talking to Shule and those who work, or I'm Kazi. Yeah, and then we have the meeting at 9. Every day? Not every day, but at okay. least twice a week. All right. To see what's coming up, where are we at in terms of finances. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. So, it's going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so another thing, I, for me, uh, in oh. school, there's one thing when we started our business, our family told us, and especially our Shusho, she's so, so, so nearly on education. She was like, you guys, you're starting a business, but you need to learn. You need to go to school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to get a degree. Even as you start a business, do not forget you need to go to school. <laughs> <laughs> she says that in Kiku, you saying uh, okay. that education is you. Panty, you can't yeah. go anywhere without you in a way. So you take it seriously, even as you, you have to balance. So if I'm in school, another mm. person will be present and they are going to delegate the work. If they go with other people, they are going to delegate. Mm. And we are understanding. I know one day I won't be available, but Marianne will be mm -hmm. available, mm. another person will be available. So we just have an understanding. Okay, so it only takes one or at least one of you to yes. be present and then delegate duties to whoever you come, you're, yeah. you're employed for that particular day, mm. yes. contracted rather okay quite interesting now for most people you know having ideas most people have ideas business ideas but it's in the starting that's usually the problem how did you get uh, past that stage I know you had support I, or is it the support that you had what do, what would you advise advise someone who has something an idea but they're thinking I don't have the money for it to I don't have the money to start. I don't have people who will help me start it. You know, so they're just stuck on the idea stage. For us, I think it was way easier since we are a group. Mm -hmm. I believe when you're by yourself, it can be challenging. Because mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> For us, it's... it's <laughs> I am oh, there like me. <laughs> and then Suzile, I'm the one who's down. She will come and tell me, you yeah. have to do this. There's this which you haven't done. Mm. This week we had said we are supposed to be here. So there's that kusaidiana, kumotivitiana. Mm -hmm. But also, if I think if you are an individual, it will be really good if you have, even if it's just friends around you who keep you accountable. Okay. So you look for friends who will keep you accountable to the promises that you've kept for yourself or the goals that you have. Mm -hmm for yourself such that at Atacama they are not really in the business them themselves. They can tell you, by the way, Mirian, you had said that you'll be starting maybe your YouTube channel next month. So 
where have you where, where are you at yeah. right now so look for people who are mm. who can support you even if it's just one person wow okay yeah very nice advice so find someone who will keep you accountable Marianne you look like you want to say yes. something yes. <laughs> go ahead so yesterday I was talking to someone and uh, she told me she had an idea I was like the power I'm only saying mm -hmm. the power is in starting you have that idea even start by researching yeah. researching then actualize on your research mm -hmm. the money I'm, I'm only saying the money will come mm -hmm. and uh, the people yes we had a supportive family but there are people who don't have that family to support them yeah. there are people who are not in good terms so mm -hmm. I'm only saying you might expect your family to help you but you will find someone out out there out of nowhere helping you mm -hmm. and you will find you will find as long as your idea is legit it's a good idea you're going to find an investor and someone who's willing to invest in you then mm -hmm. another thing, uh, another thing, uh, if you're alone, I'm, I'm only saying if, especially if you're a youth and you're alone, look for someone just like she's, uh, just like Marianne said. Mm -hmm. If you feel you can't start on your own, you, you search for someone who, who you can trust and you can start with a business. Sometimes we, we were saying, sometime back we were saying, guy, come on, ingekua peke yangu. give up kitam. So it's a lot, a lot of challenges. Sometimes you don't feel like it, someone is holding you down. Kuna mtu anashikilia. So it's advisable, mm -hmm. especially for the young people. If the business you feel like you can start on your own, look for someone you can start with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So it's always okay to look for someone you can partner with yeah. or just get someone who will keep you accountable. Yes. There's also the aspect of getting a mentor, someone who's been in yes. the business to yes. advise you. Yes. Yes. Do some good research, go for some training. It'll come in handy. It'll help you along the journey. And now, um, you know, there's this notion that's usually there for most family businesses that are there when they grow you know that they become great businesses and then there are usually some sort of there's a life that comes yeah. at some point because now we want to have a say in this you have you know when the business gets big so do you think um you have things in place you've put things in place to make sure that you don't get to that point where you have disagreements and that disagreements will cause the business to, to crumble down? I think one of the things that um, pushes me is Indian families. Mm -hmm. When you look at Indian families, there are businesses that run through the family and run throughout generations. Yeah. And I feel for most Kenyans, other tribes, they should look at what the Indians do. And for us, what we have kept, now to answer your question, mm -hmm. what we have, it's, we have policies, by the yes. way. Okay. We have a constitution uh -huh. where if there's a percentage, everyone has their own percentage when mm -hmm. it comes to the ownership of the business. Oh, so regardless of whatever, this is my percentage mm -hmm. either way. So there's no one point where you, sh you can come and tell us, I'm um, now I've been bringing it all the money. When you yeah, go back to I'm the paper, it, it says, most work here, yeah. you know. <laughs> when you go back to the paper, it says, ah, we were, when you were two percent. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. And then again, remember, we have someone who does law. Yeah. So, either way, she will come in and be like, this is legal. <laughs> it is the constitution. It is legal. legal. Paper, yeah. So, okay. yeah. So, yeah. Plus, also, I think, Reading up on what Indians do, I think they should be, we, we should all look up to them and how they manage to run businesses throughout generations. Okay. So, yeah. so is it the values that they hold as Indians with regarding the family businesses? I think, yeah. The yeah. values, yes. The values. And okay. uh, we look, we sometimes take a, take a, a minute and seconds when we have meetings mm -hmm. to look back at where we've come from. Mm -hmm. we, can, we always say we cannot afford, we cannot afford to break. Mm -hmm. And there are rules. If you want to go, there are rules of how you will go <laughs> and how you will leave your, your, your shares, <laughs> how they will be distributed. So there's no way you're going you to just break us. You can just wake up and decide yes. you think. Or you wake up, say, I'm going, yeah. and then you say, I'm coming back. Uh, uh, no way. Yeah. It can't happen. It <laughs> yeah. cannot happen. Okay, I love yes. that. Interesting. Now, as we come to a close on this, what's your vision as a company? Any of you can answer that. Uh, we, mm -hmm. we are youths to under 25 years, and when uh, the reason mostly we started this business is due to the lack of jobs. 
we're in school, yes, but we're not sure if we get that degree, we are going to get our jobs. Mm -hmm. So our vision is to grow big. Mm -hmm. If there's somewhere out, someone out there who is looking to invest in us, we'd really appreciate. If okay. there's someone out there who would like to invest in youths, we are looking in the next three years to be big, to bring more youths into board, to employ, we are looking at a hundred plus permanent workers for the youths. Wow. We are looking to create jobs. That's mm -hmm. our main goal, to empower those youths. And uh, the best way, I, I'm always saying, and we're always saying the best way to empower youths is by employing them. Mm -hmm. Then they can be able to stand by themselves mm -hmm. and they can be able to cater for their needs. Mm -hmm. They'll be able to, 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 to make a difference in the society because that's, that's what you're based on, making mm -hmm. a difference to our society and giving back to our society. Oh, wonderful. Yes. Mm -hmm. How far do you want to scale up? Do you want to get the, the rest of Kenya? I'm imagining maybe your services now are in Nairobi, or maybe you can correct me. How far do you want to scale up uh, to Marianne, the MD? Uh, there's this company, it's in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. It's called Chi Clean Cleaning Company. And she started really like by herself, just like us. Kay. And right now she is big, like she is big. Because mm -hmm. she, she does it by herself. So uh, for us, mm -hmm. definitely countrywide. And of course, if God wills, and also from ourselves, mm -hmm. the motivation and the willingness and the hard work, if it's put in there, then definitely East Africa. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Wishing you all the best. I mean, this is very encouraging, even to me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this again, I'm like, I have had so many business ideas that I've not begun. And it's a good challenge to see that youth can actually just decide and start something and it works. You know, as long as you have the will. Uh, you know, the, you know, God makes a way for you yeah. and uh, you get supporters along the way. Mm. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, mm. and I think just to add on, on to can you miss about having the idea and having so many ideas and wondering when, yeah. how do I do it? I think there's nothing, there's nothing like luck. Mm -hmm. There is nothing such as luck. And actually today morning, that's when I was thinking about it. There is nothing such as luck. There's nothing you have luck. to put in the, <laughs> the, the, work. the work and then the opportunity. It, it mm -hmm. itakupata when you already have planted the seed. Something. Uh -huh. When you have already planted the seed, that's when someone will post, uh, we are looking for people. And since already you know how the business runs and you know something about this, then that's when you'll go ahead and ask uh, and reply to the post. Uh, we are, I, I already do this, how can I get them to come to your show, for example? Mm -hmm. But if you had not started the business, then regardless of whatever is out there, you won't mm -hmm. see the opportunity that's there. Mm -hmm. So you have to first plant the seed even it's by yourself just plant plant it and then someone else and then the opportunity will be here <laughs> waiting okay. for you to just jump on it just All jump right. on it. but you need to start but you, you need have to, to start okay yeah yeah what about for women you know if it's easier for men to take up the advice men are usually very you know daring mm -hmm. and uh, how about women what do you speak to ladies young ladies out there marianne I feel like ladies have a lot of ideas. They are very talented, they are capable. I'm always, most women will tell you, I'm scared, I'm scared. But mm. in this world, r most rules were made for men. <laughs> and to survive, mm. you need to be, to act like a man to survive. So okay. be a risk taker, take, take risks. Mm -hmm. Regardless, do not be scared. If you want to start, go start. You're a woman, yes, there are challenges. You will go, you will look for investors. Some will want things in return. Some would want to use you, but don't, don't give in. Stand mm -hmm. still, be, be for what you want. You, can, you have the potential. As, as much as that man has a potential, you have a potential. It's all in the mind. Okay. They tell you in the mind you can't do it. If you agree, you will not. It's mm -hmm. all in the mind. You have to believe in yourself. You have to start. You are capable. We are women. We are doing it. Yeah. You're doing it. Well. I mean, you also can do it out yeah. there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Believe in yourself. It's all in the mind. It's okay. all in the mind. It's all in the mind. Yes. I'll take that home with me. Tell us where you can find you on social media. That's your camera. Uh, you can find us at Twinkle Time mm -hmm. Cleaners KE on Instagram and everywhere else. It's just Twinkle Time Cleaners KE. 
Okay. Thank you very much, ladies, for coming on board and sharing your amazing insights on how to start businesses and empower women for that matter. And anyone who's just listening in, right? So we wish you the best and we hope to uh, have you here next time. And even you as a student leader, yes. Ukuje. <laughs> yes. And uh, yes. can I say hi to my comrades? Oh, what's <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hi. Uh, Marian again, presidential aspirant 2024-2025. Mm -hmm. To whoever is listening to me, comrades, comrades power, comrades power. power. <laughs> uh, you got this. If uh, if you want to start a business, you have you can start. You have it in you. You are capable. Uh, in fact, we've forgotten something. We employ comrades most of the time. We carry them with us. Wow. So we are looking, we are empowering. I am empowering. My c our company is empowering. Mm -hmm. So it's not about being a politician. It's mm -hmm. something that is happening. We are going to employ and uh, inspire more youths and empower them. Comrades, President Tenyo Akohapa, please muni support. Yeah. Come next year, we need a we need a new voice, a female in the sector. We can do it. We are doing mm -hmm. it in business, even in leadership. We can do it. Amazing, uh, how, you know, having her as a leader is probably the best decision you will make. <laughs> you know? uh, thank you very much. That has been uh, Twinkle Time uh, Cleaners, uh, the company. That's the name of the company. We have Marianne Wanjiro, who's the MD, and also Marianne Kenyanju, who's the financial manager of the company, talking to us about how to make it in business from their own experience. I hope you've taken something from it. Myself, I've taken a lot. Now we're going to take a short break, and then Brand Sakwa will be back with up close and personal stay with us